Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel this week. We've got a different episode this week because I took a trip up to rural Vermont and I took a trip up Route 30 and to go skiing at Bromley. And I gotta tell you, there's some really great little villages along the way. You know, there's Newfane and there is uh, Jamaica and East Jamaica, some really kind of cool places. And the first time I went up, I envisioned some really great shots and I was, <laughs> I was hoping it might snow a little bit, but it didn't. But it was kind of gray and kind of a real milky sky, so it was kind of boring in a way. There was no real nice light to speak of. But I decided I'm bringing my camera anyway, and I'm gonna see if I can get something interesting. Well, there's that word again, interesting. But uh, what I did was is I, you know, I decided that I was just gonna shoot with it on a tripod. This is the X-T5. I would just try and shoot on a tripod and use the uh, non-resolving 16 to 80. And I decided that, you know, I, I, I was looking for some interesting buildings. And I stopped in Newfane, and there were some great buildings there. There's three beautiful buildings, you know, anchored by the county courthouse and a union hall, uh, a meeting place now, and then uh, the congregational church. And they're just, you know, they're just juxtapositioned great. And I, I thought there's got to be a great photograph here. So I stopped and, you know, I monkeyed around a little bit, and I was not happy with what I got at all. And then I put it into Lightroom and I envisioned these as black and whites anyway. So what I decided to do was just take them into Lightroom and see if I can make them more about what I saw. So this week's episode really is about that experience. And I'm gonna show you the raws, I'm gonna show you what I did to them, and hopefully we'll come up with something really great. So here's the uh, video that goes with this story of stopping a new fane to photograph these very interesting buildings. Today we're up in Vermont and we're on Route 30 and we're outside the Wyndham County Courthouse, which is a very cool building. And there's a there's a Union Hall, which looks more like a church, which probably, probably is a church now. And you can see them behind me. There's uh, another church all the way up there too. It's really cool, there's these three really neat buildings all in one place. And uh, I'm just gonna try and make a shot here of the Wyndham County Courthouse uh, with this Civil War statue in the foreground here. So here's the shot here. I don't, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but there's the shot. And we're just doing a, a quick shot here because it's really kind of cool. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus more on the statue here. And at F11, everything should be in focus. Second shot. And I'm overexposing a little bit here because we got a lot of white going on. White building, milky gray sky, and snow on the ground. So I'm shooting here at, uh, I think it's 250th of a second at F11 at 125. I'm gonna take another shot. So here's the first shot right here, and this is the raw file. And you can tell right off the bat what the problem is. You can see that the statue is blending in with the trees and really not what I was looking for. What I've done here is I've applied my Ostia preset, which is my Kirk Start preset with the Ostia profile attached to it. And you can tell it brightens up the image and makes it look much better, but it's still got that one problem. The statue is blending in with the trees in the background. I decided to uh, switch it over to Silver FX Pro and see what it looks like in black and white. And I like the look of it. It's just we still got that problem with the statue. And what I've done is I've cropped it in a little bit better and I've, um, you know, maybe straightened it up a little bit more. But it's still got that problem. So decided to move and here we go. So I like the trees over here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move a little bit so I can get the this unobstructed problem is I can't then I can't get these going like that so I'm gonna move over a little bit here and uh, reposition things a little bit so in the shot we've got a nasty branch over here I don't know if you can see it but there's a really nasty branch over here so I've moved in a little bit closer and I've separated the statue a little bit more make this a little bit more usable <laughs> there's gonna be some cropping going on that's for sure two second timer 
It's not a bad shot, but it's, you know, it's nothing great. But, hey, rural, rural Vermont, can't beat it. So here we are again, and this is the raw file. And as you can see, the statue is much more silhouetted. Looks great. And this next version of it here, it's my Kirk Start preset with uh, the Astio profile attached to it. Then, as I did in the last one, I moved over into Silver Effects Pro 2 and used the High Structure Harsh preset, which I really, I really love that one. And I've cropped it to a one-to-one -one ratio, which I almost never do. But I was able to get the branches out at the top. I, you know, I just, I wish the, the steeple was not blocked as much by the trees. But hey, what are you going to do? It's really the only angle of it. Uh, but I think it came out quite nice, and I didn't think it did. But you know, you work with things and try and see if you can make them look better than you originally thought. So that's that shot. I really, uh, it's kind of an interesting shot. It's not, I wouldn't say it's great, but you know, it's rural Vermont, <laughs> Route 30, it's great. You take another shot over here of these other two buildings, see how that works out. Here's the other shot I got lined up for this church. Maybe this is another church. Uh, it says Union Hall on it, 1832. So. It's kind of cool, the two of them, and of course, and <laughs> I've also got a nice red do not enter sign that I got to somehow figure out how to crop that out because I want to get it out of the frame, but I don't not necessarily want to uh, clone it out, if you know what I mean. So let's see how this works out. All right, so there's the shot there, and this is a little very wide shot. I don't know if you can see how I have it set up here or not, but uh, that's what it looks like. It's what the shot looks like. Now, as you can see here, I decided to go with a horizontal instead of the vertical I was showing you in the video just before this. And what I've, you know, I'm thinking here, it's a one-to-one -one crop, and it's in black and white. And this is the raw version of this image, and I had to crop out you know, a sign and maybe straighten it up a little bit. So here's the next version. In this next version, I used my Kirkstart Ostia preset and it gave me a little more definition in the sky and it, you know, it enhanced the colors a little bit more and it looks much better to me. And then I decided, well, hey, it's not looking that bad. So might as well pull it into Silver Effects Pro 2. So I pulled it over into Silver FX Pro 2, used the High Structure Harsh preset, and then I pulled it back into Lightroom again, and I knew right away I was going to have to straighten this image up. And boy, I'm telling you, the way Lightroom works with um, straightening out the geometry is just amazing. Now, the steeple on the right is a little bit tilted, believe it or not. It's not from any kind of craziness going on with the lens and uh, the parallax it's not a bad shot but I got a car in front of the church and I'm not really sure if I like that but you know I'm not gonna clone it out because it's there um, very interesting shot you know you don't often see three buildings like this all in one place and uh, rural Vermont <laughs> Route 30. Beautiful little town here. Uh, Fayetteville Corner, I think it's called, or something similar to that. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Maybe I'll drop it in right down below here. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by this week. I had a great time up in New Fane and up Route 30, up towards Manchester and uh, the Stratton area. And by the way, that brings up a very interesting point. This fall, I'm going to be uh, putting together some kind of workshop experience that's very low cost and basically just paying for a, an Airbnb that we can stay at that's large enough to handle 10 to 12 people. And I really think we'll have a great time and we're going to be exploring this area around Manchester. It's a beautiful area around the Stratton Bromley area. And in the fall, I know it's a beautiful spot and there's so there's more to come on this. So if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe and all that stuff that goes with making this channel more successful. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time.